Hello everyone, Sega Superstar here, and today I'll be doing another video review with um, my small Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comics. Um, in this collection I have a mixture of Sonic Universe and Sonic the Hedgehog, as as well as the special arms up here which I'm going to show you after. So basically it's just going to be a long review, it's just going to be a, what I'm gonna, basically what I've got and I'm going to show you what I have. So Okay, so we have... Um, Issue 229, it's part of the Sonic Genesis, um, <clears throat> these are not in any order per se, they're just random because uh, I'm bother categorizing these at the moment, there's, not, there's no point. So, have issue 237. And um, issue two two seven. Uh, this is a very uh, free comic book day version of it. It's uh, just a free comic you get, and I managed to get it signed by Tracy Yardley himself, which as you can see here, there's his printed signature. And there's his real signature, which got signed, so I'm pretty happy with that. Also, a very special version of the 225. Um, this is the variant cover, and this has also been signed by Tracy Yardley and Ian Finn, uh, which I'm also happy with. And under the, behind that is a rare old issue. Uh, this is issue 4. <clears throat> this is the last one I have, I believe. So, yeah. Pretty awesome. I mean, you can tell the difference between then and, like, now, you know. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> we have the issue 81, the Sonic Adventure Era. Gamma there, Knuckles, Sonic, Chaos. A very awesome arc. And this is one of the hardest and you know, more most expensive comic to obtain in the uh, Sonic Hedgehog Archie series. It's issue 98, and it's in the Sonic Adventure 2 arc. Dreamcast there, uh, 10th anniversary also, so it's quite a special issue. It's quite cool. Uh, just uh, issue 247. Now, many people have gone a bit angry about Sally's appearance lately. Uh, new clothes and everything, but to be honest with you, uh, Archie Universe is a bit crazy overall, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an STC fan personally, but these are a bit crazy, the, the stories, the art, you know, just sort of a mumbo jumbo sort of thing, but I'm a fan still nonetheless, you know, I do enjoy looking at the artwork, The some of the stories are interesting. Yeah, this is issue 246. Now, this is one of my favourite issues, um, I'm lucky I've got this one, it's quite amazing, is Metal Sonic. This is the 50th, 50th issue of Sonic Universe, and as you can tell, got an awesome picture of Metal Sonic on the front. Really cool cover. Can't get any better than Metal Sonic. Best band to cover. Okay, we've got the uh, Rivals variant cover. And uh, this is issue 248. And uh, next issue, issue 248 again. Okay, this is just a variant cover. So these two are the same issues but different front covers. You know, if you're a fan of Shadow, you get that one, or if you're a fan of better, more of a fan of something, you get that one. So, yeah, I thought I'd get both because they're both cool. It's where Mega Man's first, you know, like start, starts to get introduced in the Sonic uh, era now. So I don't really agree with that personally, but it's just my opinion. Uh, this is Sonic Universe issue 52. And this is quite an awesome issue coming up. Sonic's 50th... 250th issue. Really awesome. Looks like a cool, amazing cover. You've got Dr. Eggman, Amy, not too bad, Nick's there. Sonic the Hedgehog, an amazing pose. 
Um, okay, moving along now to more of a classic. Well, going to, well, from classic going into modern era, uh, is when Sonic starts beginning to go having green eyes. Um, yeah, this is issue 71, so pretty cool cover. Reminds me of Sonic 3D for some reason, the way he's running. Pretty awesome there. Okay, moving on now. Um, another old issue here uh, Mecha Madness, Mecha Sonic. Uh, this would be issue 39. Pretty cool. Another classic issue I own, issue 28, where Dr. Eggman's got control of Sonic somehow and he's beating up the Freedom Fighters, pretty funny. You can sort of see him quite enjoying that, I know I'd enjoy being up a few of these characters like Roto and you know, Bunny, they're quite annoying. <clears throat> then we have another special issue, another old one, uh, issue 10. Pretty funny there, you got a classic crab meat there. Sonic being trapped by one of Eggman's goofy contraptions. Pretty funny. Uh, we have issue 240, another variant cover. Sort of a 16 bit variant Sega bit era cover. Probably better than the other one. That's Sonic 3. I thought it looks like Sonic Hedgehog 3. Um, this is the swell. This isn't the latest issue, but this is the one. Beforehand, this is where Sonic and Mega Man go super and fight the forces of Dr. Bonic and the other villain who I'm not too fond with or don't even know his name, even. Oh dear. Okay, issue 225 again, that's the other variant cover for this issue. Pretty awesome Sonic pose. Um, next issue, 231, Metal Sally. And she just sort of first uh, starts turning into Metal, Metal Sally. And you have issue 230 or Metal Sonic there fighting Sonic and Mecha Sonic as well and Sally. Pretty cool. And you got there, it's issue 243, Metal Knuckles fighting Sonic. Death Egg at the back there, classic Death Egg. And you have. Issue 228. This is like this is in the Genesis era where Sonic 3 and everything. You guys, there's Knuckles there, who I don't know who that is. A bit obvious. Issue 245. Pretty cool issue. The female Sonic fans like this. Love some even male fans love Amy front cover, it's pretty cool. Amazing art. And we have the issue two two six. This is part one of the Genesis. And we turn over, we have issue two three nine. So that's sort of the same cover as that. But Sonic instead. So anyway. That's all of the issues done. That's the only ones I have. Of Archie, okay. Um, I did buy this because it just looked awesome. I just like special editions every now and then. Uh, it's the first issue, so I thought I'd buy it. So, so I've got 20th anniversary down. As you can see, I've got it covered up really well. I don't want it damaged at all. Um, as you can see there, I got it from Ace Comics. And it cost me to her seven pound fifty. So yeah, it's just basically a book that has some stories in it from the old previous Archies. So yeah. Um, the artist is by Spaz there, one of the most amazing artists in the Archie comics. Um, this is a gift from a friend, I've had quite a little while now. Um, it's just sort of like that book, got a classic version of it. Just have like classic stories, you know. You can't beat the classic stories of Sonic and Dr. Eggman, just amazing. So yeah, um, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing book. I'm really happy my friend gave me that because I love this. And this amazing item over here is also a gift from my fr same friend who got me that item. Uh, this is the Adventures of the Hedgehog script uh, of the episode Mum Robot Next Birthday. Now, 
this cost my friend a little bit of money on eBay, and this is this is 100% genuine. This is the signature by the scriptwriter. Um, the times and dates and the years that it's going through and how it's done. So you've got copy, copyright with 992, Dick Enterprises, and Sega of America. See, so it's all official. Um, I'm not going to show you too much of this because it's quite boring, but I'll just show you the first page. You guys can read that. Just pause the video and sort of read through it. Let's go down a bit. So, yeah, pretty amazing having a script from Sonic Adventures. Or I should say, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, yeah. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed my little little show and tell there and uh, thank you for watching please leave a comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later